welcome home, son. Welcome, Carl. Should I call you? Mom and Dad work. Thanks for helping me, Dad. You bet. Just promise me you'll put it away when you're done with it. I will. He has terrible bruises on his arms. I don't believe what you are implying. I'm not implying anything. Except maybe you need a little patience. We don't know anything about Carl. He is like a boarder in an old-time boarding house. He sleeps here, he eats at our table, but we don't know anything about him. Yeah, he's adjusting. Just like everyone else does. Our children are our lifeblood. We must not give up on them. I need to tell you something. When Carl and I were here alone, I was in the shower, and I didn't know he was in the bathroom. He threatened to kill me if I told. Mom, we gotta send him back. She's always mad at me. I just want her to like me. Carl, your mom loves you. We all love you. I think Carl killed Lady. I know Carl just needs a little bit of attention. The one time I ask you to support me. But don't touch me! Sharon, your brother is really sick. No, he's evil. He is damaged. He is disturbed. He is not evil. Talking to your neighbors to get some info on a recent crime in your area. The stabbing of a young girl. Any of your children go to Anabar Middle School or know any students from there? You want to help him! You help him! Somewhere else! Not here! Not under the same roof with my children! Carl! Oh.